I'm with Gary Ball, Senior Vice President of Engineering with AGCO, and we're at the AGCO Media Launch event for 2010. And uh, Gary, how has the philosophy of the company changed, uh, as you were saying earlier? Okay. Well, uh, AGCO is a relatively young company. Uh, it was started by uh, a leveraged buy or buyout by uh, the founders uh, back in the late late 80s. Uh, and the philosophy of the company through the, the first about 15 years of the existence was to grow the company by uh, acquisition. Uh, and so if you're growing by acquisition, you wind up spending your, your resources uh, on the rationalization, consolidation of the products and following along the industry in terms of, uh, of uh, technology of the of the products. There were a few exceptions to that, like uh, like Fent, but but basically we were a technology follower. Uh, with the acquisition of Valtra that took place in 2004, that was the last big uh, acquisition that we knew that we could do and still get through the uh, the Justice Department's uh, any any trust uh, kind of uh, of clearances. And so, uh, in order to continue to grow the company, we had to grow, take another strategy, and that strategy was was organic growth. Uh, and organic growth requires that you develop high technology products. Uh, and so since 2004, we've been making the investments in the engineering uh, product development area of the products uh, <clears throat> and have uh, uh, increased our spending uh, at a rate of about 15 to 20 percent year over year since 2004 and have gone from uh, a little over a hundred million dollars of spending that we did in 2004 to uh, this year we will spend upwards of 240 million dollars. And we're seeing some of those uh, investments um, pay off here today. They are. Um, what are you most proud of? Uh, well, all of these are my babies, and so uh, I don't think any parent uh, should uh, should pick favorites uh, out of your out of your children. Uh, but I think uh, the changes that we've made to the uh, to the Gleaner. Uh, series of, uh, of combines is uh, is really one of the most exciting that we've done. That uh, that combine platform uh, has been recognized within the industry as as being the most uh, productive uh, and uh, cost efficient uh, product for the uh, for the professional farmer that uh, was working in the, the dryland crops of wheat. Uh, it is without a doubt the best dryland crop combine that has ever been ever been made. Uh, but the changes that we've made to increase the rotor in that combine from 24 to 30 inch in diameter uh, has uh, not only increased the, uh, the throughput capacity of the combine in dryland crops, but made it uh, much, much more versatile in the, the green stem uh, soybeans or the uh, corn type, uh, type products where previously it might have, uh, have struggled uh, a little bit. Okay, and uh, over the years, um, the technologies that AGCO um, has been known for, you mentioned FENT with the CVT. Right. Um, what are some of those other technologies that are evolving that, that are carried with the AGCO name? Okay, well, uh, the CVT from, uh, from FENT, uh, which was uh, uh, developed and launched in 1996, uh, is probably uh, the most fundamental cornerstone of uh, technology of the company. You're seeing it not only in the FENT products, but also in Challenger and Massey Ferguson uh, high horsepower tractors. Uh, and we're now showing it in Terragators uh, and other products where the versatility of that kind of product provides uh, just un, uh, uh, unmatched productivity advantages for the uh, for the uh, for the customer, uh, but uh, we've also introduced new engine technology. Uh, we started it last year with the introduction of uh, the high horsepower range of tractors that was the MT600C uh, and the uh, Massey 8600 series that use an 8.4 liter Sisu diesel engine with uh, E3 technology, which really is uh, selective catalytic reduction uh, after treatments that uh, improve the efficiency of the engines uh, up to 16, 17 percent. Uh, while meeting the emissions regulations that are very, very stringent. Uh, and we will build on that kind of technology going forward into Tier 4 Interim and Tier 4 Final.